I'm Mike Kogan, one of the inventors of the M3 metal composite pen blank. And today we're at the shop of Penn State Industries and we're going to demonstrate just how easy it is to work with these real metal blanks. Even though they're real metal, they will turn on a standard wood lathe and work with all of your regular wood tools. Today we're going to take this magnificent black and white M3 blank and show you how we're going to turn it into this beautiful Majestic Junior Rhodium and Black TN. M3 is a dense, stable material and will cut and drill clean. This means that you can cut the pen sections much closer to the actual length of the tubes, about a quarter inch over the length of the tube should be plenty. This will reduce the waste and allow you to use much shorter blanks. Cut the blanks with any good saw with a sharp blade. We use a bandsaw with a standard wood blade and the M3 cuts like butter with crisp clean edges. M3 is perfect for cutting segments and inlays and will resaw down to less than an eighth of an inch. We recommend drilling M3 on a drill press or lathe. Mark the center of the blank with a center punch to keep the drill bit from tracking. Use your drill's low setting at around 600 RPM and slowly drill into the blank, backing out the bit about every inch to dislodge the debris and reduce the heat buildup. If you use a sharp bit with steady pressure and follow these instructions, the M3 will drill clean every time. Turning. M3 metal blanks will turn beautifully on any lathe, wood or metal, and is perfect for CNC machines. Sharp tools, high speed, and low volume passes are the way to go when turning on a wood lathe. Turning up the lathe speed to over 3,000 RPM will allow you to take down the blank slowly without removing too much material. You don't want to gouge too deep or build up too much heat with each pass. I use a gouge to bring the blank down to rough size and shape and then finish it off with a skew chisel. Sharp tools are essential to any turning project and carbide tip tools will reduce the amount of resharpening that needs to be done. Different M3 metals exhibit surface hardness associated with the source metal. Titanium and stainless steel will be a little harder on the tools than copper and aluminum. Use a light touch and take the material down in thin layers using care not to build up too much heat. Sanding. After turning the blank down to size, you want to sand from 150 down through 600 grit using traditional wood sandpaper. M3 will sand down easily, so be careful with the lower grits not to be too aggressive. You want to hold the sandpaper with your fingers so you can control the heat buildup. For a mirror finish, wet sand with micro mesh grits down to 12,000. For the best finish, use the two-part PMP, the premium metal polish. You want to remove all the sanding dust and residue before polishing. Wipe down with water to make sure your blank is clean and then dry. With the lathe turned off, use the end of a gloved finger and just apply a small dab of PMPA and cover the blank completely. Turn your lathe to about 1700 RPM Carefully apply medium pressure to the underside of the blank using a soft cloth, terrier cotton, tri-fold to about one inch wide. Move the cloth side to side slowly and get even constant contact without creating more heat that is comfortable to the touch. After about one minute, move to a clean part of cloth and remove polish residue and expose the shine level. Repeat the above step, applying and polishing with PMPA again. Before proceeding to the next polishing step, wipe off all of part A and make sure everything is clean and ready for the next step. Turn off the lathe and repeat the process with the premium metal polish part B. It's always best to do these polishing steps twice to ensure the highest quality finish. Wipe off the polish residue with a clean part of the cloth and you're ready to assemble the finished pen. M3 Metal Composite is extremely lightweight and comfortable to touch. It exhibits an exceptional gem quality scratch resistant finish. Fantastic random patterns and colors run through the Makume Gane, 
which literally translates to wood grain metal, Damascus, metal with a visible grain, and pattern metal variations. If the surface of an M3 object were polished or worn down, the patterns beneath would continue to be revealed. Using technology born of the space program, M3 Makumegane and M3 Damascus are a modern interpretation of these ancient Japanese and Middle Eastern metal arts. The proprietary M3 process, together with the natural interplay of the metals, creates beautiful random wood grain patterns and metal combinations that were never before possible.